welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Coromon. It's on the App Store. It might be on the Google Play, but let's get into it. Flashing images that cause blah blah blah. No, we, we'll keep it the same. So there's a warning just in case for you guys. Just like knock knock. Are you still in bed dreaming? Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes again. Today's your first day of work at Lux Solace. Started a quest pro. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression. So it looks like that's our mom. Oh, character design. Go like that. Like that. weird from the front though and you won't really see it from the front but still rip off jesus is that should that be our name rip off jesus right, yeah we'll just go with this oh i really could have been rip off jesus i'll just go with the short stub like that goes slightly lighter Jesus I don't think I'm gonna wear a hat right now so yeah. 
And then we're gonna name the account the name obviously Moldy Raven. Can I interact with that book? No. So we get to run at the start, which is nice. Most games don't let you do that. Uh, I should speak to mom. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Moldy Raven. You're looking sharp. You must be so excited, you're finally going to become a Luxolus battle researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before going to the station. That sounds great. Come on. <coughs> Dexter, dear, please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. Okay, Mom. Why don't you come with us? You look depressed. He broke our flabby swarmer high score last night. Haha, <laughs> beaten by your little bro. Alright, if you say so, say so, kid. A delicious breakfast later. So here we are, Moldy Raven, at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you all grown up and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go. But I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solis. I know you're ready for this. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day so you don't have to worry about gold. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. 3,000? Thanks, Mom. That's very sweet. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear that, honey. Oh look, I can see the train approaching. Do you have any everything you need? Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear? Hi, bro. Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. The train is about to depart. You better get on it before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Guys, I think she's a little sad. Hello, could you come over here for a minute? We're Jonesim and Marcel, the developers of Coral Mon. Thank you so much for trying out our demo. We hope you will enjoy it. This is a friendly notice that you may freely explore the world of Coromon up until the third town, and your Coromon will be able to grow up to level 25. Well, that was actually all we have to say for now. Have fun and shine bright. So yeah, I was going to mention that when there wasn't so much dialogue. This is the free demo, and I'm going to do probably two episodes and then see how they do and then i'll probably down buy it it's five bucks but you know i'm starting out don't want to use too much money on youtube yet hello and welcome to lux this campus how may i assist you hello my name is Will raven i'm starting out as a battle researcher today a new colleague how lovely i think you will have a wonderful time working for lux I'm just going to start saying Lux, okay guys? Please give us a moment while we check your registration. Aha, I see. It looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. 
Most trainers use the normal difficulty, which I would recommend for the regular experience. Take this handy book and read it well. It explains the differences of each difficulty in detail. Okay, I'll read it carefully. Trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty other than the normal difficulty. But what exactly does that entail? This book will explain the rules of the different difficulties. If you still can't decide after reading this book, it is recommended that you choose the normal difficulty. Easy. The difficulty is for trainers who take it easy. Koromon will fully restore their HP when they level up. No more backtracking. Shop items are half the price, so you can stock up on those healing items. When one of your Koromon faints, you don't need to use a special revive item. Instead, you can feed it any healing cake. This difficulty is for regular experience. No extra rules are applied. This difficulty is for trainers who want to challenge. If one of your Koromon faints, it leaves your squad, heading the call of the wild. It returns to its habitat. The most challenging difficulty in addition to the rules of hard difficulties, these rules also apply. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. You may only catch one Koromon in each area. Using the Luxlor, if it faints, you are out of luck, though you are free to capture any perfect Koromon. So insane is like hardcore Nuzlocke. This is just normal Pokemon, but if your Pokemon dies, it's gone. So, I'm thinking for the first time I'm playing, I will probably choose hard, but I can't decide. Oh, I think I just chose insane. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah, I was thinking on doing a Nuzlocke anyways. So... Let's just do insane. <coughs> oh, I'm impressed. Not many trainers select that difficulty. Uh, okay. I've contacted our difficulty engineer. He will help us configure your experience. There he is already. Hello there. So you've decided to have a challenging experience. How exciting. I'm the engineer that will keep track of your difficulty experience. I want to inform you that once one of your Koromon faints, it will leave your squad until you lower the difficulty or e to either easy or normal. Here you will need my invention, the name it, the Luxlor. You will need to use the Luxlor to trigger an encounter with a wild Koromon you may catch. You can do this once per area. This means you're not allowed to catch any wild Koromon except for perfect Koromon. The whistle is linked to your gauntlet in your personal Koromon storage. It sounds frequency will lower the Koromon species, which you do not have. It doesn't matter where you use it, the Luxlor, all Koromon species in the entire area will hear it. Be careful though, if you're, the Koromon you encounter faints, it will be gone. Ah, one more thing, you will also need possession of my special invention, the Insane Spinner. During your adventure, some battle researchers may task you with finding a specific Koromon. Your chosen difficulty can make this seemingly impossible, but every Koromon you catch with this Insane Spinner is sent to a special storage when you have it have to give an individual a species Koromon for a quest, you automatically get access to the special storage, making all quests completable. Oh, well, that's good. When, well, that's all I have to inform you about. I'm sure you can handle all that. A challenge should be a challenge, am I right? I agree. Good. I'll go make the necessary adjustments now. Good luck. You'll need it. Thank you. You can return to that computer anytime to change your difficulty. Great. 
At Lux, we offer two training courses for new researchers, a regular course and an extensive course. Would you prefer the consensus or regular course or the comprehensive extensive? Let's do the extended because I've never played this. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Koromon safely around the Lua. We have several color variations from which you can choose one. No, moment, please. We have the Gala Blue variant. We have the Peter Brit Green variant. Now let's see the Influx Red variant. Please choose one you like the most. I'm gonna go with red. Yeah, I'm gonna go with red. Good choice. That one goes well with your eyes. Please take this Lux Recall RC. The state of the art device allows you for a streamlined training experience. Your first stop will be Cormon Lab, where Gideon will help you get started. You can find him in the next building over. Have fun and shine bright. Next building over, so I'm assuming this one. Yep. My brain's working, guys. Ah, you must be the new battle researcher I heard so much about. Gideon is the one that'll get you up to speed. Let me fetch him for you. Mm, it looks like Gideon is out for lunch. Well, no worries, I can take a quick break to get you everything you need. Follow me. Looks like a map of the region. First of all, let me grab you a data chip. Got data chip. The data chip is a nifty chip for your gauntlet that will record every Cormon related action you take. All the data is sent back to us where it's analyzed right here in this very lab. As an incentive for sending us oodles of interesting data, you will be rewarded handsomely, of course. Milestones and promotion bonuses can be redeemed right in your menu. Isn't that handy? It's pretty simple stuff. I'll show you figure it all out as you get more comfortable at the job. Alright, alright, you're almost good to go. But you wouldn't get far without our generous employee starter package. Oh, we got five free spinners. HP cakes. SP cakes. Lux recalls. A type menu. Tab manual in there will be especially invaluable throughout your journey. I suggest taking a quick ponder at it before setting out. So normal does two times damage to that, 0.5 damage to that, 0. Point, so normal too dark isn't that good. It's they can't do damage to us, and they can't do damage to us. Oh, it's a ghost, and then. I take two times damage to go or to poison. Of course, it does that. It takes half of that. It deals half to electric and sand, and it takes two times from sand and cut. Ghost does two times to its own. Half damage from normal and cut. Deals less damage to normal, and it takes two times from magic ghost. Sand does two, two to that. Demon. Alright, so this looks very extensive, but we'll figure it out as time goes. Well then, I know how excited you must be to get your own, very own Coromon. Nelson will provide you with one downstairs. That's pretty much it for me. I gotta get back to work now. New traits don't discover themselves, you know. Downstairs. Oh, that's probably downstairs. Let's go back in. I didn't see that till right as we started leaving. Ah, that smell. This 
smell of a starry-eyed battle researcher here to receive their first Coromon. Just hold tight a moment while I finish updating the Coromon Connect to Fur. Whatever that is. That should do it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of Coromon Lab. Let's connect you to a Coromon. Run a series of tests to find which one is most suited for your personality. I can't wait. That's the enthusiasm I love to hear. Let me just hop over and take some quick measurements. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Now comes the fun part. The machine is ready to scan your brain waves. Please enter. Um, is that healthy? do give me cancer. Please keep still during the scan, otherwise you might lose an arm, or worse, damage my machine. Damage your machine? Alright, let's do this thing. Analyze, commence. He's more worried about his machine than my well-being. That's crazy. I will now ask you a series of questions while the machine measures your brain activity. Question one, you encounter a wild Coromon, what's your first reaction? Um, so, I would attack it to try to catch it, because I'm on insane. So I'm gonna attack it right away. I see, I would do that too. Question two, what is your motivation for becoming a battle researcher? I wanna earn a good living, I want to tame the strongest Coromon, I wanna protect the environment. I wanna protect the environment. That's good motivation right here. Which of these three attacks appeal the most? Inner peace, toughen up, fiery breath. We all know we want inner peace. Not my favorite, but let's continue. Which of these colors appeal to you the most? Crimson red. That's the same color as my living room. I didn't even know. And final question. Describe your ideal first date. Um... Depends on the museum, depends on the dinner, depends. I don't want to go ever skydiving. And honestly, it depends on what the other partner would want to do. And seeing that dinner is the most common thing to do that. Ah, so romantic. All done, watch your step. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake. Fantastic, you must be excited to hear the results. Stand in front of the Hatches when you're ready. Here are your options. <laughs> Announcing the fire Coromon Taruga. The Coromon is very strong, loves to battle, and can learn powerful moves. Nibblegar, a water type Coromon, a Coromon with high endurance in battle and is able to outlast most other Coromon. <laughs> And finally, the Ice Coromon Cub Zero. This Coromon is a jack of all traits, the perfect balance between offensive and defensive. And now, the results of your analysis. The algorithm shows multiple options that would be a good match. The Fire Coromon Tortuga would be a good match for you, and the Ice Coromon Cub Zero would be good, go well together. That makes it hard to choose, right? Why don't you give it a closer look, trust your instincts, and pick the one you like most? So we're gonna go lava. No. Where's the type database? Is, is it in here? I'm trying to find the type sheet. Um, is it in here? Alright. So, ice does two times to that takes less from four types fire takes less from three types so it does less to its own and fire and it takes two times from fire and heavy so and then fire takes that from how does air i mean air does put out like candles but air is what fire needs to grow i don't know Probably gonna take the sub zero dude. 
with a jack of all trades, Cub Zero will be ready for any situation. Summary. 1920. So this guy's a physical attacker, surprisingly. Scratch. Cute pose. The user strikes a cute pose, slurring the defense of the opposing team. Alright. When attacked, the Cormon steals any fruit held by attacker making contact. What is this? Potential color. There's three versions. Alright, so there's that. <coughs> With the high endurance. Somebody. This guy's uh has one more HP that lowers his attack by a lot. Increasing the attack. Okay. When the Cormon has full HP, any damage is reduced by forty percent. That could be good to actually prevent one taps. Okay. With the attack focus, Tartigo. Oh, we have no stop. 19 HP, 10 attack, 12 special attack. It's a cute little turtle. It's a cute pose. It isn't holding anything. Thick skin. It's thick skin makes the Cormon immune to critical hits. Ooh. Oh, you can get it purple, too. Honestly, no cr no crits or I steal the berry. But, so that was like 10 and 12. This guy has 11 and 10. I, I like the no crit thing, so I'm gonna pick Tortuga, Taruga I mean, i uh, give a nickname, yes, it's a Nuzlocke, and every time I get a, a starter, its name is always Moldy Jr. Taruga, the algorithm never lies. Your Taruga seems to have the thick skin trait, very useful indeed. But you won't get far out there with just one core mount. Take this pattern bit for extra protection. Oh, we get two Pokemon. Now that you've got your core on list, give that Taruga your of yours a test run. I'll activate your Lux Recall to take us to a battlegrounds. Hold on. Are you are prepared for your first battle? We're going to battle, aren't you an expert? Don't worry, I'll be fair. Fly, I brought my nibble gear, which has the same level as your Taruga. Helpful tip if you hold down your skills, you'll get a detailed overview of their effects. Be sure to try it out when you're ever confused on what a skill does. Good luck, give it your own. Ready? Let's do it.
passive. Well done, you and your Cormon are gonna make quite a team. I just know it. Remember that you can visit a trainer hub at any time to restore your squad back to full health. Thanks for the tip. I'm ready to catch some Cormon on my own now. Absolutely, you can start by exploring Radiant Park. I'm on it. Wait, there's one more thing. I advise you not to pass the bridge yet. The Cormon past that point are generally less beginner friendly. Larry from the R D R and D lab can hook you up with a gauntlet module to keep you safe. You can find the lab in Radiant Park. Best of luck, Moody Raven. I'll be at the Cormon lab if you need me. Shine. So let's. They're still low. So what is this? Welcome to the battlegrounds where your trainers can hone their battle skills. A new challenge will be starting soon. Trainers will be informed when. More info is available. Give your best and aim for the sun. Is this the heal thing or is this just a shop? This is just a shop. Actually, let's see what you can get here. Welcome, how can I help you? Buy. So, health, energy, status. Okay. Oh, wait, there's more stuff down there. Please accept this free coupon and hold it against your phone. It's an NSC tag. It will seamlessly install the luxury shop. Hmm. The luxury shop. Exactly. It's our brand new remote shopping experience. Its inventory is filled with non-essential but rather delightful luxuries. Why don't you have a look for yourself? Opening it is simple as pressing the fancy button on the top right of your screen. Don't forget your claim for free potential stone while you're there. Shine bright. So it's it's basically just it's basically it's just the online store premium items. Premium items can be accessible on any of your three adjacent sleep slots. Well, what do they do? Proof drone keeps track of your growth progression of your fruits and vanilla and we even retrieve them all at once whenever they're ripe. Swap, deposit, or withdraw any of your Cormon, the Cormon storage from anywhere in vanilla. The Luxury Call Plus never runs out. Fast travels back and forth to any teleporter as many times as you want. The, the Battle Reader allows you to read the potential value of your opponents without having to catch them. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else you have because I didn't know it. So, you, elemental has been designed to efficiently catch the normal type Cormon. And then, teleporting. I I need to find the coral. Oh, it's right here. What's this? The fast travels is this. Okay. Fast travel thing. What is this? Accessing my personal core monsters. What shall I do? Cancel. I'm just trying to heal my core mod. Is this it? Online battles. Okay, that. Um, here? Okay, here. Trainer hub. Would you like to take care? Yes. One moment. Thank you for waiting. We fully restored your Coromon. Feel free to come back anytime. Shine bright. Now, let's see what's up here. And then. This episode's really long, kind of just more base. So. We're setting up training exercise for Lux battle researchers so they can have their work done more. Okay. So. It's a short, shortish in like actually doing stuff, but long in like lore. So I think we're gonna end the video here. So at next video we can do a lot of stuff. We can get our first encounter and all that. So we're gonna save and then go home.
and then yeah, I'm ending the video here.